In this video, we're going to be covering one of the comma rules. In particular, how to use it with a coordinating conjunction to separate two independent clauses. So this leads us to ask the question, what's a coordinating conjunction? Well, I'm glad you asked. A coordinating conjunction connects words, phrases, or clauses that are of equal importance in a sentence. What do these look like? Well, I'm sure you've seen them before. Those are your fanboys something that you've learned probably back in fifth grade. So here's a good way to remember them if it's unclear to you or if this is unfamiliar. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so, as you can see the capital letters here, spells fanboys. So when we have a comma plus the coordinating conjunction, right, one of the fanboys that we just saw on the last page, we are going to be separating independent clauses. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. Okay. So we have Tay or Ty sings in a choir and he plays the guitar in a rock band. So over here I have an independent clause and on this side I have an independent clause as well. Now let's check out how we're connecting them together. See that comma and right there? Right? That's that comma plus a coordinating conjunction. I'm sure you've seen this before but uh, this is definitely something that you're going to want to remember or learn if you haven't learned it. Now let's continue. We don't just use a comma and as you see here. We have other coordinating conjunctions. Let's look at the next sentence. Amanda enjoys her job, comma, but she is looking forward to her vacation. Her mother doesn't eat meat, comma, nor does she eat dairy products. Jordan will be playing football this year for he made the team. Javier earned a promotion, comma, so we decided to celebrate. I just completed my workout, comma, yet. I'm not tired. Now, what is this going to look like on the test? Well, let's give you an example question. Here we go. Why don't you take a minute, take a look at that question, and then we'll get into it. Okay, now that you've taken a minute, let's go through it together. So, step one, what are we going to do? Well, first, we always want to find the independent clauses. Let's see if we can find them. So, the first one over here is the policeman shouted at the criminal to stop, okay? I'll just put some brackets around there so really clear about when it starts and where it ends. Uh, the second one is the man kept running, okay? So that's another independent clause. So now that we've covered it, what's step two? Now we're going to find the correct comma plus coordinating conjunction. Remember, we have to have a comma and then our coordinating conjunction, one of the fanboys. So we want one of the answer choices, well one of these answer choices is going to have to have one of these things exactly as it's written up here. Well A does not do that, right, because we have the coordinating conjunction first and then we have the comma and we know that's wrong. Let's skip to answer choice C, there's nothing there, so we have a run on sentence. And then answer choice D, you see how we have two commas? That actually creates a parenthetical reference, and that's not the correct way to separate two independent clauses. So if we use this elimination technique, of course we're going to go to answer B. But the, the way that you're probably going to want to go about this is to just recognize I have my comma plus coordinating conjunction, and that's a good way to separate two independent clauses, and that should lead you to the right answer rather quickly. So let's recap what we've learned today. We have a comma plus coordinating conjunction, right? And that separates independent clauses, right? Those are standalone sentences. Here are the coordinating conjunctions. We uh, remember it by using the term fanboys. Think of that paragraph we had on uh, one of the first slides. It gives you some uh, evidence of the use cases of each of them. In our example, this is the example from, uh, from earlier. So Ty sings in the choir, right? Independent clause. He plays guitar in a rock band, and I have my comma plus coordinating conjunction in here separating my two independent clauses. Thank you.